sign up thing. Basically, you just got to sign up for your blog, right? Is that how they? There's a in the left hand sidebar. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it says sign up for my newsletter. That and if you it. sign up there, yeah, then you'll get the um, notification when we're going to do the live event. Sometimes she does these things at the last minute. Kind of like now. Right. And if you just want to get an email, then we, we, we can send that out. There's also a sign up form on her um, link that takes you to the information about her live events. I, I think I that's at the top of the, it yeah. says live events. If you go away at it to the top of my uh, blog, the screen. There's boxes at the top where my photo gallery is, and you'll see a thing that says live events. If you click on that, you put a thing there, they can sign up. Yeah, I put a thing there today. Yeah, with my life being, you should have received these in the mail. If you have not, um, drop me an email, and we'll make sure that we get some in your hands. This is the new occasions catalog. Love it. So we're just going to take a catalog tour tonight. I'm going to show you some of the products. I'm going to give you a few little tips that I found along the way. I haven't really played with the products a whole lot yet. Um, I was just getting into it and now I'm leaving. So um, yeah, lots of fun stuff. I just want to point out on the first page here when you open it up, if you see this little symbol here, it's a little circle. It says quick and easy. That means that the, it's a very simple project that looks great. Um, it looks professional. Even if you are a new stamper, that's a, um, those cards or projects with that symbol are very easy. This symbol here means that it is on Pinterest, and you can go out to Pinterest and find more project ideas. And then this little video right here, that means that there is a Stampin' Up! video done with that just to give you an idea um, how to use the product or some tips to using the product so we're going to come in and we start right off with birthdays i don't know about you but i had like five birthdays in january already so i don't know what it is but january is a big month for birthdays so we have a lot going on with this suite here don't forget about your bundle and saves make sure that I go through and I highlight them because I have been known to order the stamp set, find out later that it had a punch or a framelit that went with it, and then I end up spending more money because all the bundles in save are 15% off. So this particular bundle in save is you get the stamp set here and then the coordinating paper punch pack. Boy, say that three times fast. But these little punches coordinate with this and this right here. And I'll show you so you can get a better visual. Let me grab it all. Lots of stuff here. This, you can see I haven't even had a chance to open it up yet. This is the little punches. They're, um... I'm trying to think we used to have like the little tree christmas tree the star and i think the ornament these are the same size as those little punches if you remember those little punch pack so just right size for the little cupcake the balloon and then the candle so these would be awesome to add to a little tag because they're just the perfect size for that so those are the little punches. Here is the stamp set. Now you can see mine is busted here. If you ever get this in the mail, it comes that way. Um, call your demonstrator and you'll get a new stamp case because that is kind of um, busted up in there. And it, it happens, you know, shipping. And then over the holidays, um, UPS and FedEx and all those were very busy so it's understandable that things get broken along the way this little uh, embossing folder right here very cool it's got your confetti streamers um, there's lots that you can do with that and I also did a video on the technique that they're telling you about right here for your tips so look for that in the next week or so um let's see this is something else i want to point out to you this is not the six by six 
um, paper stack that you're used to. This is actually a 12 by 12 double-sided paper stack. There are 48 double-sided sheets, four of each print, 12 double-sided designs. So here it is a big pad of paper. Great for scrapbooking, but it's also great for your cards because you don't have to worry. You're getting four pieces of each sheet double-sided. So I'm talk you're talking, if you use a quarter of a sheet per card, you get six out of one sheet. So that's 24, if I'm doing my math right, um, out of one print. And look at all you get. These prints are so pretty. I love the color combinations. I think that's, well, it says it on the front here. We got basic black, crushed curry, melon mambo, mint macaroon, Sahara sand, and whisper white. Gorgeous, bright colors. I love bright colors for birthdays, anniversaries, wedding. Great colors, great stack. But just I just wanted to point that out so that you knew, look at how thick that is. You know that that isn't the 6x6. Six six. These are 12x12, 12 12, so you can use them in your scrapbooking. All right, let's see. Anything else on there? You can see I put got, got, got. This is mine. I mark it up. Love it. Okay, this suite here, gorgeous paper. If you were a Paper Pumpkin subscriber and you received the December calendar kit that we got, this paper reminds me of the calendar kit. That print right there is a lot like the calendar. I'm going to show you. Isn't this pretty? I wish you could see it in person, but by looking at it this way, it's almost as good. Because just seeing it in the catalog, it's not. You just get a little taste of it. But this way, you're going to get a full view. So we got the roses and then the stripe. Love that. Gorgeous color. I am a paint girl. This paper here reminds me of the December calendar kit that we got with the paper pumpkin. Love that print. Ooh, I am seeing gorgeous cards. Gorgeous, gorgeous balloons. I got this upside down, I think. Balloons and dots. What more could you want? These, I, it's a streamer, I believe, but it kind of looks like sunglasses to me. I don't know. And then confetti, cute cupcake, love this. It's They made a bag with it, cute, cute. And then the um, tag. Now, these little honeycomb, they come in the Blushing Bride, Mint Macaroon, and the white. Now, if you want them in a different color, I think they show it in the celebration because this coordinates with a celebration set. Um, if you fill your spritzer, the little stamp and spritzer, with alcohol and re-anchor color of your choice, you can spritz those and make them any color you want. I think in the celebration brochure, they spritzed it yellow and put it on the little chick. Um, we'll get to that, but I just want to show you what those are. So here's a white one. So this would be perfect for spritzing and see how it opens up. Now to mail these, what I would do is I would apply adhesive on one side and place it, a little bigger than the cone, place it where you're gonna put it and then mail it. And then have um, like either a piece of sticky strip or something that, or the tear tape where they peel off the tape and then when they get it, so that it mails flat but then they can open it up and make it pretty. That's my suggestion for mailing those. Otherwise, they're, they're going to need to be hand-delivered. So back to our gorgeous prints. This, I, I want to say this hands down is my favorite pack. Love that rich color. Love the pinks. Love it. Love it, love it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Next, what do we got here? Oh, this ribbon. Very cool. The glitter ribbon. 
cool party. Love the color. There we go. Ooh, oh my goodness. Can you see the glitter? Can you see how pretty that is? Oh, the shimmer, love it. And really it's nice because you can still tie it. It's not thick or coarse that you can't tie, you know, decent bows with it. Cute, cute. Okay, what else do we got here? These are super cute. I do not have them, but they are very, very cute. These do coordinate with the celebration. It's don't on the, page 15. Don't the honeycomb embellishments have a pull-off with a piece of already on them? Um, let me check. Does it say that? No. It To me, it doesn't feel like they do because it feels like cardstock, but I could be wrong. No, I don't think so. Because if I peel this off, it's paper. You can see it's paper. And it feels like paper. There's no... Um, wait a minute. Oh, yes. It does. It's tricky, but it is. So it does stick. What are oh. They're little, you know, oh, yeah. like for party. Yeah. Huh. So yes, awesome makes it all that much better cute so this is the coordinating celebration stamp set that goes with those honeycombs um so they have the little yellow on his belly the little balloon and then here so what is celebration you can spend any more um up to 50 when you spend a minimum of 50 you can pick something free from the celebration brochure which is this one right here and we're going to get to that and all the good stuff that goes with that so for every 50 you spend you get a free item from the celebration brochure so just keep that in mind there's more goodies coming this right here oh i will tell you that um the honeycomb embellishments those little, these little things I showed you, um, they're selling out far faster than they thought they were. So if you want these, I would get my order in today because they're on the possible back order list already. So you're going to want to nab them as soon as possible. The other thing that's on the possible back order soon is this set right here, these large number framelits. These have been a big, big seller. And I can see why, because... You can use numbers for any occasion. They can be for wedding, birthday, anniversary, um, scrapbooking, card making. There's so many things you can do with the numbers. Great set. And I like the style of the those. Um, let me get that so you can better see the size. So these are... the large numbers do, 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 drum roll Ooh. so those are dandy size somebody asked did you skip pages 6 and 7 did I skip pages 6 and 7 it looks like I did I will go back I'm sorry I wondered why I still had some of this party stuff on my table. But here's the um, numbers, so a very nice size. And then here's the coordinating stamp set. So you can see the numbers in there as well. Now, what I love about this, and this has been one of the things my customers have been asking for and Stampin' Up! is now starting to come out more with them is this right here has this coordinating framelit which is where did that go all right maybe i'm missing something here did you see that i just opened it up just took it out of the package do you know what's missing off my thing here that framelit that goes with this banner it's not on here 
So I will have to call them tomorrow and make sure that I get my banner because that was what I was going to talk to you about. That banner comes in a lot more stamp sets. So we have it in the stamp set here. It's also on page, I'm just going to skip ahead, but I'll be back. It's here and page 32 it's here and then on page 39 it's in here so they carried over that same framelit except for for me they didn't <laughs> they carried over that same framelit in all four of those stamp sets so that just makes the value of your package of framelits that much more because you can use it for more than one stamp set. Now for me, I can't use it for any because they didn't put the framelit in there. So I'll have to make sure to give them a call. Um, I'll probably call them from the airport. So now we'll, we'll go back to pages. Six and seven. Oh yeah, there's fun stuff on here as well. Okay, so we have the new washi tape that coordinates, got little balloon tape, coordinates with that paper pack that I showed you, as well as these gorgeous enamel dots. And then we have this stamp set right here. And then the pop out um, thinlets dies. They actually, if you see on the picture, they pop away from the card. So when you open it up, it pops out towards you. And then you can also use it on the front instead of popping out. So lots you can do with that. I'm sure that I'll be doing a video on that. Um, but lots of great birthday stuff. Now here's our quick and easy symbol that I told you to look for. And then the cards are very simple to make. Got some more of the pop out image over here. Let's see. It is a bundle and save, so make sure that you check that. And then they did do a video on it. So that little symbol there, they did do a video so that you can um, get some tips on how to do those pop outs. All right. Remember, bundle and save. You get this and this together. And then we have the balloon celebration, which is this set right here. And then we have the coordinating double balloons. So if you got these and then the minis, you would have three different balloon sizes. So you could make a very big bouquet of the different balloon sizes. So your bundle and save is the stamp set and the punch. Now this balloon also coordinates with, turn it over, this stamp set right here, which is the balloon builders. So again, more than one stamp set to work with your balloon punch. And like I said, you can punch designer series paper or your cardstock, just like here and use your balloons you don't really need a stamp set so you can do it with the stamp set or without make sure i didn't miss anything on these pages um, look for more on pinterest this set up here the balloon builders it turns you can turn your balloon shapes into um well it looks like an octopus a bee elephant so just like a, a clown makes the balloon animals, you can make balloon animal cards with that. That little balloon right here works with this right here. So more than one stamp set for those little ones as well. Over here, um, we have the um, intricate die cut there, that heart. So that is in this bundle right here. You're going to get the stamp set and then the Bloomin' Heart. Now the, um, the framelit, boy, they're hard to get off that packaging. That is some strong tape. You're going to run this through, and then you'll notice that there's little um, 
flowers that will work with the stamp set as well. So you can fill in if you like. Um, you can also put them in and, and run it through and then ink those so you can have um, different colored flowers in your heart. Very intricate heart. I would recommend using the um, whoops well let me see what's the name of that thing oh this right here the precision plate when you have an intricate die like that you're going to want to use the precision plate just because there's a lot to that and then we have i'm going to show you the new little big shot brush that we have um the blushing bride glimmer it's just as gorgeous as can be i love the glimmer papers and i like the different colors that they're carrying um so love this i always like glimmer and bling and then here is your paper stack now that is a six by six so keep that in mind that these are six by six 48 sheets four of each print and they're double sided and they are bright and then what i like uh, another thing that stampin up is doing a lot is when they come out with the designer series paper they'll give you a pack of solids that coordinate with it and then this is a nice feature because you might not want 24 rows of red sheets with this little bundle you get eight of each of the three colors so you get 24 sheets total but you get a nice blend so it's a little cheaper for you than to buy each pack separately. Um, this is a little bit more cost effective for you. So $7, you get the same amount as you would solid, but you're getting more colors. Does that make sense? Okay, and this little Blooms, Love Blooms Embellishment Kit. Now this kit to me is girly girly because you got all the pretty little frilly stuff. You got your little gold hearts and your wood hearts. Gorgeous ribbon. Oh, these are pretty. Paper clips with the cutest little bow on them. I just want to stick them in my hair. Those are cute. It's pearls. Ooh, these are glittery. They're like um, the enamel dots, but they got glitter in them. Very pretty. And then the sequins. So lots of gorgeous stuff that you can do with this little ensemble of products. Love the little embellishments. So I think, and remember this banner here is from the, the letters, the frames. Then we're coming to this gorgeous rose. Now there's things I want to point out about this set here. I kind of wish that they would have made this a two-step stamp and solid image and then had the framelit to cut it out. This is another bundle. You get the stamp set and the coordinating framelit. One thing though is if you decide to um, stamp this, you can stamp it and boss it or you can just stamp it on your cardstock. When you use the framelit to cut it out, you're just going to get the outline image. So you're going to need to either watercolor or color in or stamp it on um, designer series paper and lay this over the top um, because once you cut that, it's always going to have, you're going to have all these little pieces. So it's going to always come out like this. So that's why I said, I wish they would have made that into a two-step stamp in a solid image and then had this to cut so that you could lay over the top. But I love the set. I love the words. Whenever there's lots of words and insights sayings, that is usually my favorite set just because there's so much you can do with it. I have done quite a bit with this set. And you'll be seeing that in the next week or so. 
Uh, I do want to show you one card that I did, which is just gorgeous because the first thing I did was emboss it in gold and then cut it out. Then I said, thought, hmm, I'm, how about if I cut it in the gold foil paper? Gorgeous. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is just gorgeous on that black. So striking. It's a great wedding wishes card. Um, I will give you a tip for uh, applying this. You are going to want the um, fine tip glue pen because it's very intricate. And if you're like me and don't do well with glue, I seem to get way more on than what I need. And then I have all this little smudging going on, which I know you can't see on camera, but in person there's like dried glue and it doesn't dry clear. You know, it dries shiny. So I don't like that. So I found a little tip. After you apply your glue, I'm just going to remember how this works. You have this unscrews. And you have this little nice fine tip wire. And you're just going to go all the way around. I like my rows to be down good. I don't like the edges lifting. So I go around the whole thing, all the way around, get every angle. And then what I do, before I apply it to my card stack, I just flip it over and give it a press to get off that excess. And then I place it on my card stack. And then I won't get that, which I don't like, that excess where you can see it on my card. It's um, the excess is here and it is still very tacky and sticky and I mean you're not losing any glue it will stay down so that is my tip for you is to get that excess off before you apply it to your cardstock or you will get a mess background and then this little tip here has to go down inside that little hole there so what you're going to want to do is just I lay it against my finger and then place it down in there and that keeps it so it's open all the time and you won't get a big chunks of stuck glue. Now I'm going to have to turn this over because this is glue and I'm going to glue it to my table now. Okay, so another intricate die. Here we have them. And I was going to run it through the big shot, but I'm just, I think it's easier um, just to show you. But very intricate. So you will want to use your precision plate. And then we have this new handy dandy Big Shot die brush. And I will tell you that this is on back order already. It's currently on back order, but they're expecting 10,000 more to arrive um, within the week. So put that on your list. You're going to love it. Jeannie said, I think back in the thing you are talking about before, you could cut two different colors and place the little inside pieces back into the rows. Yep. Maybe outline in foil and use glimmer paper inside. Mm, that's an idea. Okay, so I have actually done those um, similar to that, and you'll see them on my blog in the next couple days. Like I said, I have been playing quite a bit with it. Um, I also wanted to point out the size of it. It is a very big stamp. So you're going to need the great big, I don't know what letter this is. What letter is this? G, uh, F. You're going to need the F block with the clear in order to get that to fit. So keep that in mind. Now this is one of the butterfly framelits and it's got the, it's the intricate one. And I ran it through the big shot in the gold glimmer. And this is the new handy dandy big shot die brush. These bristles are pretty sharp. You know, I wouldn't want to really scrape up my hand with it. But you're going to lay that down and you're just going to, let's see, did I do it up this way? You're just going to brush that over the top. And those little things pieces will just come out of there very easy so the glimmer paper is the hardest to get those little things to come through but the sponge and the brush works it so they pop right out of there but you still have a few that will hook in there but 
that could be how I ran it through the big shot too. But this will save you so much time than to sit with the paper piercer and poop, poop, poop. Really cool. You're going to want that tool for sure because we're coming out with a lot more of these intricate framelit dies, gorgeous dies. And you want to people to use them so you come out with tools to make everything easier. We all like easy, right? Okay, that is another bundle and save, so keep that in mind. The Big Shot Die Brush list, keep looking um, on my blog. I'll let you know when it is back on available to order, um, hopefully soon. Um, you can probably order it, actually, and then just know that it's, it's going to be uh, a week or so before they get the whole shipment in. This page here, we have... This right here coordinates with our rows. So here's another one that has two different stamp sets that coordinate with a framelit. Another one to color in either with the um, blender pen, aqua painter, your markers. This I'm sure you re recognize from the um, holiday catalog. They brought it out and it coordinates with the happy home. It's the Hearth and Home Thinlet Styes, and you can get that in a bundle, so you get those right there. Grateful Bunch coordinates with the Blossom Punch, Bunch Punch, 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 Bunch Punch. Boy, that is a mouthful. And I, for some reason, do not have that, which I thought I ordered it, so not sure. But that is in a bundle as well. One thing I like about flowers like this, um, layering. You can layer up those flowers just like they did here. You can either stamp an image or cut solid cardstock and layer the different options. Here we have another Pinterest. These are super cute. Um, think I'm thinking Easter, and that's what they were thinking. Uh, fill it with orange candies. And you got a little carrot for your Easter bunny. Very cute. Little polka dots on there. It would also make a great birthday treat. I'm thinking stick one of these little pom-pom things at the top. I had one open. And there you have a birthday hat. Fill it with candy, treats. And there you have a little birthday party favor. They remind me of little hats. Cute. Love any word sets. I have all word sets. Love them. On this page, here's the fine tip glue. Like I said, you're going to want that for the intricate dies. And then we have something different. This is the clear and gold uh, glitter brush. And I had those too, but I don't know where they went. I'm going to have to go digging around. Um, so I haven't tried them yet, so I really can't tell you a lot about them, but uh, look for information coming on them. Here's your another quick and easy, quick and easy baby card there. Welcome, baby. Um, over here we have the new Starburst Thinless die. It is bundled with this stamp set here. Um, it kind of reminds me of that kit that we had. Uh, where you lay the framelit on and you spritz or use the sponge daubers and get that like spray this image here Let's see I do have that Stamp set and then here is the Starbush thinlets die That's pretty I can see like this done as a graduation card and put congrats grad here. It just looks like, I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. That's where I'm going with that. Birthday. I don't know. It just reminds me of a ray of sunshine, right? All right, what do we got? We got Pinterest and a video on that. So both on that one. And then we got videos on these as well. 
and that's that glitter uh, brush the new gold and clear it says glitter pen for accenting stamped images acid free hmm I have to check that out now this here this whole suite basically um, is my featured stamp set for the month of January I picked the botanical blooms and it is in a bundle with the uh, framelits love this been playing with it we have the um, little flowers where are they let me see here we go so my featured stamp set for the month of January get this in here is the stamp set the coordinating framelits and then you're also going to want the designer series paper pack now when I first looked at this I thought Ooh, I don't know but once I started playing with it gorgeous love the prints love the color combinations this print here it's the tip they show you in and I did a video on it so you will be seeing a video on it notice how the outline leaf images you can stamp on your designer series paper so cool so you can stamp the centers of your flowers you can stamp the detail in your leaves or if you don't want to you don't have to but it has that option so that you can stamp on the designer series paper or not. Jean says you can use the sunburst to cut masks with both a positive and negative image. Ooh, cool. It will work like a stencil. <clears throat> very cool, very cool. Love this paper. The colors that I used um, for my project for this month are the solid colors, which are black, Cajun Craze, Hello Honey, Mint Macaroon, Mossy Metal, Old Olive, and Whisper White. So now, are you wanting to see the project? This is what I call a card caddy. It's a caddy because you can hold it and it holds cards on both sides. There are six cards total. I put three cards and envelopes on this side, three cards with envelopes on this side. Um, the details are on my blog for the supplies that you need, but if you place a minimum $50 order with me in the month of January and use this hostess code, I will send you the video and the PDF file to make the card caddy and the six cards. So you have the whole month. Um, so if you spend $50, you are going to get the video and the PDF file for all the cards. If you spend a hundred or a, you'll get your two celebration, you'll get this 150, you're your own hostess. So don't use the hostess code. You'll automatically get the password to unlock the, um, the gallery, the album for the video and the PDF file. So that, um, is the stamp set of the month. Love it. Love the different accessories. Here is the little, I see a necklace and earrings, gorgeous embellishment jewels here. They have come out with some awesome jewels. Those are super cute. There's 12 in the, the pack. The, I showed you the designer series paper. It also has the coordinating solid paper pack. You get the Cajun Craze, Hello, Holly, Hello, Honey, <laughs> Hello, Honey, Hello, my darling, um, the, and the Mossy Meadow. So what you would need for my project is you'd need the Old Olive, uh, Black, and that might be it. Oh, Mint Macaroon. That's Mint Macaroon. And then for inks, you're going to need black and mossy metal. And then if you want to stamp on the car on the envelopes, 
like I did, then you're going to want the other colors as well. I just stamped a little flower with that on the envelopes. The choice is yours. So many choices. I will tell you, whoops, that this uh, suite has um, some products in the celebration brochure that coordinate with it. And this is one. This is the Botanical Gardens Designer Vellum Stack. So it's hard to see. Let's see. If I get a dark piece of cardstock, maybe you can see it. Mm, it's kind of hard on it. But you can see the little prints, and it coordinates with this botanical gardens paper. It's like vellum. Or it is. It is vellum. Is that what you said? It's not yeah. like it. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so that is free with a $50 order. You can choose that. Now, what I did um, for my free with this suite. Are those cards full size? Or they are full size. Is This is perfect pairings, and this is the free celebration. And that's what I used on all my um, cards. So there's six, basically, sentiments. So there's six cards, so I used one on each card. Now, if you wanted to give this as a birthday to somebody, you could put all birthday cards inside. Um, you could just put card caddy on the front and put an assortment inside, whatever you choose to do. But this was the what I got with my 50. Um, I didn't get the botanical vellum with that. And then it also has another coordinating stamp set that's free, which is this one right here. It's the botanicals for you. And that is if you spend 50, you can choose this as your free set as well. So lots of options for this suite here. Um, lots of products and then lots of free celebration stuff as well. Um, this I consider kind of a masculine stamp set. I can see a lot of scenery done with this one right here. Um, it does require watercoloring of some sort. They use the aqua painter here. They also brought back the Shimmer White cardstock. The Shimmer White is a little thicker. It has a little shine to it. Um, it is good for watercoloring because it's not going to absorb through as quick as like our Whisper White or normal cardstock. And then you have your background type images. Over here we have uh, this right here is very interesting. I'm going to show you that paper. This is double-sided, and it is very, very thick. And it does have uh, that silver shine going through it on one side, and then the other side is um, a duller, not that shiny. But great for making boxes, because it is thick, super thick. So lots boxes, bags. Anything you want very sturdy, this would be the pack you would want. Very cool paper. I gotta speed it up here. I want to get to the celebration stuff. This punch here came back from the um, holiday catalog, and I did use it on my project this month in the corners here. That is optional. Um, that's the only place I use the punch is on the caddy itself. This ribbon here probably is thicker than what you think. Because when it, you look at it in the catalog, it doesn't look that thick, but it's actually um, one inch thick. Gorgeous ribbon. Love the color. Watermelon Wonder. Love it. But you can see they made boxes, bags out of that paper I just showed you, and then they tied it with this ribbon. Very pretty. And then they brought back the rhinestone, the ice rhinestones. I like those. The kits, I was going to open them up and show you the kits, but we're getting long on time here. But um, the You're So Lovely Project Kit, you make bags and cards. Great kit. And then this right here 
is um, like a 3D project. Um, it's a home decor type project. Every day you can clip a different little um, sentiment thing, card that you make on the front. You want to see, leave somebody a note. But these both have Pinterest and videos on them. And then we come into our teacups. So this and this are a bundle. So bundle and save. This right here is a six by six pack. And then here's our ribbon. Now this ribbon is not thick. It's the eighth inch. So it's the thin ribbon. I like the, it ties good, I can tell, just by feeling it. It's not stiff. It makes sweet bows. Okay, I'm going to need a drink. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Okay. I just want to look for size comparison on the cups, the teacups. Okay, nice size. Got your, looks like bacon. I love bacon. And then the coordinating stamp set. And then here's your 12 or your six by six paper stack. And then again, you got your coordinating um, colors that go with the stack. And then here are the prints. So again, four of each print. And it looks like it's the pinks, the purples, almost looks the melon mambo. It is basic gray, Bermuda Bay, crushed curry, melon mambo, pool party, wisteria wonder, and whisper white. So cute, cute set there as well. Mother's Day coming. I'm running out of table space. They returned the red foil, so you can still get the red foil couple more Mother's Day. Another quick and easy card. Love the um, three-step. Basically, this is a three-step stamp, um, but makes it very realistic. Each stamp is numbered, and then it has an arrow. So you stamp them in number order, and then that arrow should always be facing up. And then that makes it way easier to stamp those. Then we come to the Going Places Suite, and this is, I consider, our masculine suite. We have the stamp set, and then the Cool Word, World Traveler Textured Impression Embossing Folder, and then here is the Going Places Stack. Black cream back uh, black and very vanilla it looks like there's a little bit of blue in there maybe hello honey or crushed curry pretty colors delightful dijon lost lagoon mossy meadow sahara sand very vanilla and black cool colors i can see some great masculine cards with that again the numbers framelit coordinates with this here and then there is a typo over here um, it says the very vanilla cardstock is 1050. It's 850. So that is a typo. Um, the bear set, cute kid for kids. If you want to make it more realistic, you can um, kind of bend the arms out on the bear to make it like a bear hug. Another sentiment stamp, my favorite. And then we have some project life. We have the returning six by eight album. And then the Project Life cards. Um, and then bundle and save. So you get quite a bit with the bundle and save. So you might want to do that. Now, I've made a lot of cards with the um, Project Life card collection. Not necessarily always for scrapbooking, but also for card making. And then we have this Pyramid Pals. It makes the different animal shapes or just a pyramid shape gonna lose my voice again and then it has the coordinating stamp set that goes with that so fun for parties kids parties um, birthdays very cute 
Now this set here coordinates with our festive flower punch that was in the holiday catalog. So now you can take that from making poinsettias into making fish and other flowers and little peas in a pod, the little bunny, super cute. And we have our fruit and our another quick and easy. Love the quick and easy. And then we have the returning favorites and then um, the paper pumpkin. Now, I will tell you the paper pumpkin, let me get the details so you get it right. They are marking a three month subscription. It's normally $59.85. They're marking it down to $55. So they're knocking just about $5 off. Plus you can choose a celebration item with the three month paper pumpkin subscription. Another deal is the 12 month paper pumpkin subscription is $215.40, which means if you bought the 12 month subscription to paper pumpkin, you're going to get four free celebration items. So you can choose four different celebration items, plus you're going to be your own hostess because you have a $215 party basically by that one subscription. So you're going to get $46.54 in Hostess dollars. So with a 12-month subscription, you get $46.54 in Hostess dollars to spend on anything you want. Plus, you're going to get four celebration items out of the celebration brochure. That any your choice, whatever four items you want out of there. So awesome time to sign up for Paper Pumpkin. Like I said, December's kit, I loved it. Thought it was gorgeous. And then we come to the hostess stuff. So when I tell you you have hostess rewards or hostess dollars, that means you can get these things that are hostess exclusive. And so we have the Love You So stamp set. So if you would like that in um, wood, it would be $19 from your hostess reward money. So if you bought that year's subscription to Paper Pumpkin and you got $46.54 hostess dollars to spend, you can spend it on these Hostess exclusives or any product. It does not have to be Hostess items. But the only way to get these Hostess items is to be a Hostess. So a Hostess is anything, any order that's over 150, it's considered a Hostess order. So they have the um, washi tape in here and then the sewing um, stamp set. So that brings us to the celebration brochure, which is fun. Now, whenever you spend something, whenever you spend $50, you can pick something out of here for free. And the things you want to look at will have free by them. So I showed you the Botanical Gardens vellum stack. Spend 50, you get that free. Spend 50, you get this stamp set that coordinates with the Botanical Bloom stamp set. Free. So these are just some ideas. And then this stamp set here is free with a $50 order. And then they also have the Project Life. And then this is the one I paired with my stamp set for the month free because I like the sentiments, the sayings. Here's our little chick again. Isn't he cute? This is the stack of paper that is free. And then the coordinating... Um, flower fields is free and then here's our little um, honeycomb and this is where they spritzed it so spend 50 free so they will advertise or not advertise but they'll show you what they did use to make the samples those you you have to buy the free with the $50 is it'll say free and point right to it so don't get confused because there is stuff in here that is not free. And then one thing I want to point out is at the very back on page 16, if you see on the side here, it says limited time products only available through February 15, 2016. So the stuff back here in these last few pages, when you spend 50, you can get them free up until February 15, and then you can no longer get these. Then they are going to come out with some more things new. So 
this one here very cute mask on like this one i've used it you'll be seeing it on my blog get it now because come february 15 it'll be gone same with these back here i want to show you this pack of paper this paper pack here works great with that rose framelit. I what I would do is cut it out the image and then lay it glue it to the paper and then once it's dry go around with your scissors and hand cut out the rose. But I love this um oh what a shaving cream technique. Very cool. I love that look. It's the backs are plain and then the front has that shaving cream like texture feel to it it's kind of groovy so love these colors i like the gray masculine i can see like with the um the boat and different things like that very cool very pretty so that paper, I don't think, does justice in here, but in person, I really like it. I think it's gorgeous. Limited time on that again. These are all limited time, so they will be here until February 15, and then no more. So let's go back to the front again. I went through quickly. Um, so spend 50, pick something for free. Now, if you're like me, and you had all these things tabbed, then you're going to want to join my team. And right now during celebration, you may choose $155 worth of products from this catalog, the big catalog. So you have the big annual catalog and the occasions catalog. Choose $155 worth of product. Easy to do. You're only going to pay $99 and you're going to get free shipping. So that is your best deal of the the months coming up here is this one right here now when you sign on to join my team don't feel that you have to do parties or anything like that you can sign on and be your own best customer and get the discount for yourself not a problem um, I do monthly team meetings and I do my team meetings here but I also am live when I do it so we um, I have demonstrated in North Carolina and all over, so um, don't feel that you need to live in my area. Um, we still have a lot of fun, and we do online just like we're doing tonight. I will tell you I do need to add two team members. I mean, I would love to add a ton more, but I need at least two by the end of March. So if it's something that you're thinking about or would consider, um, drop me an email and we will talk. But that, like I said, is the best way to get a lot of product um, at a decent, you know, cheaper price, I want to say. $99 bucks for $155 worth of product is a good deal. The other way to get free stuff is to host a party. Now, we can do a live event where you gather all your people, and I will join you via live stream or live YouTube. And I will beforehand ship the projects for you, for your guests. To make down to you um, and we can do a party that way or you can do a book party bring the book the catalogs to work and have people order and this is a great time with when they spend 50 they're gonna get something free so it's an excellent time to do that if you have party sales of 250 you're gonna get 10% of that which is $25 but they're kicking in another 25 so with a $250 party you're gonna get $50 of stamp and rewards money to spend on whatever you want and then it goes $300 would give you $61 and 450 would be 88 free dollars to spend and it's done on percentage so I just did like 250 times 10% is $25 it's on pennies and that 10% is on everything after 250 so your your yeah, free stuff okay your free stuff adds up according to what your total sales were. And it's before shipping and tax. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, questions? 
how do you get 46 free with a $215 pumpkin order? Okay. Because $215, you get 10% in hostess rewards. So you're going to get $21.54 um, in hostess rewards. Plus during celebration, oh, I'm sorry. That's where I messed up. I was thinking 250 not 215 so I am sorry. I apologize for that. I was thinking you were going to get that extra $25 during celebration, but that's with a 250 and not a 215 So I did uh, mess up on that one. I'm glad you caught that. Um, so, yeah, during celebration, if you do the 12-month Paper Pumpkin subscription, you will get four... Um, Free celebration products and then twenty one fifty four in hostess dollars to spend. Um, do you qualify for celebration also when you join the team? Um, when your your kit, the hundred and fifty five dollars worth of products that you choose, um, you do not get celebration with though that order because that is your your stamp and kit that you're ordering, but. It, if once you get your kit, I mean, you can order the day that you put become a demonstrator. You can order, and every fifty you spend, you're going to get a free um, celebration item. But uh, the uh, celebration items do not come in the kit. Any other? That's it. Um, I was going to tell you another something else too. Let me think. Very nice products. Keep an eye on those quick and easy and then your Pinterest and your videos. Very helpful. The tips and techniques that they tell you about. They also go to Instagram now. So inspire your friends by sharing your own creations with them on Instagram using the Stampin' Up! hashtag. Cute. Love the different stuff. So I am going to give away two celebration products tonight for tuning in. So I am going to have Bill pick a couple names, and I am giving away the Flowering Fields stamp set and then the Honeycomb Happiness with our little chick balloon and ice cream. Um, I'm giving away these two sets tonight just for tuning in and listening to me talk on and on and on <laughs> vicky asked as a team member don't you have to commit to a dollar a month amount quarterly too quarterly yes as a team member you do need to submit a minimum 300 dollars order every quarter so the quarters run january february march is a quarter april may june um so you need to get in 300 in sales in those each quarter. And it can go um, $10 a week, $20 a week. However, it's just when the quarter's ending, if you got your 300 in, you're good. Um, so it can go in all at one time. Um, it varies. So as a demonstrator, you will receive 20% um, off. And then once you hit uh, your you become qualified, um, then you will be receiving 25% off all your stuff, and it can go up from there. Nobody's going to hunt you down if you don't, right? No, no, nope. no. Nope. Take you, your free stuff and run. Yep, <laughs> you can do that, not a problem. So I need a couple names there, Bill, for our giveaways. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's, let me go through my system I've got here. Susan Persley. Okay. Susan Persley. She's from Maryland. From Maryland. You need to... Should I write these down? So I yes, that well, would be actually, good. Actually, if they email you, let's do this. Because I don't have a pencil. I don't either. Susan Persley, send Glenda an email. Glenda at thestampcamp.com. I'm going to need your address. With your address. Yes. You send it. What do you need? One more? One more. All right. You know how I'm going to do this one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Karen, me, me, letter. <laughs> M E E H L E D E R. Same score, uh, Karen. You got to send Glenda an email with e your address. And then she will 
I will put these in an envelope tonight because I'm leaving at 5 a.m. And then I'll have Bill mail them out tomorrow. So they will go out in the mail tomorrow. Again, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate that. And I hope you learned a few trips or tips with this new catalog. And if you have any questions about celebration, about becoming a team member, or how to host or do a book party, I will be more than happy to talk with you on the phone or we can email back and forth, um, whatever works for you. Um, but thanks again, and if you want the PDF file or PDF file and the video on my card caddy for this month, this is the hostess code that you need to use for that. Uh, but if you order 150, you are your own hostess, so don't use the code. And make sure that you cash in your reward points, dollars. It should ask you before you check out, but if it doesn't, make sure it's at the bottom. You'll see that on the left-hand side. Um, you will pick your celebration and your hostess rewards. So, if there isn't any more questions, I guess we'll be signing off for the night. Any more? That is it. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.